Alright, we're back. Part two of the sunrise. And uh, it's just about up. It probably is up anyway, it's just. It's very cloudy. Um, I'm gonna go get my coffee in a few minutes. I got a little bit of editing to do. Uh, I'm gonna do that while I'm getting my coffee. And then hopefully, um, post this video. So. Nice and blue. Uh, I have a dark lens on my camera right now so I could catch the sunrise. It's one of the best times to see it uh, is when it rises and when it sets. So, uh, the moon is still above me, uh, it's illuminated on its own. As I was just saying at the end of the last video, we'll call that part one of the Turkey Day Sunrise. How's that? Oh, uh, Turkey Day Eve Sunrise. Sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, the moon's already out and been illuminated. And we got the sun. Ooh, I guess it just rose like six minutes ago or whatever, but all those clouds are in the way. So by the time it gets up above those clouds, it's going to be pretty bright. Because it's only a short period uh, when you, you're able to look at it. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I guess you call it, people call it sun gazing. You can look at the sun. I don't recommend looking at it at like... 12 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, because you'll probably burn the shit out of your eyes and really hurt yourself, burn your, your fucking retina. You don't want to do that. Um, you can look at it. Uh, I'd say the first half hour maybe of sunrise, maybe a little less than that, 20 minutes, 25. And then when it's setting, that lasts probably about the same amount of time anyway. And you can sun gaze and speak your intent into it. Uh, some videos out there that say the sun is conscious. What is that? Okay, I'm going to stick sunglasses on real quick just so I can look into it a little bit better. That's a We have glasses to see, not that I'm blind, but squint with my sunglasses. It's alright. Oh, there she is. He, my bad. The moon is a female. Right, we got the sunrise. Awesome. We did it, guys. We did it. as it's, it's letting me go.
awesome. I don't know, uh, it might be hard to tell, I'm gonna keep filming it just like this. Uh, I've said this in previous videos, um, on like a really full moon, when it rises, it looks ginormous, just like the sun. Uh, so that's why I believe they're around, you know, the sun's definitely a little bit bigger, but they're close in size. The sun's at its biggest when it rises and when it sets, but if you ever catch it uh, during the day, like when it's going behind clouds, you can, you can see the outline of it, and it looks just like a full moon when it's above you, you know? After it rises and stuff, it kind of gets a little smaller because it's deeper above you or higher above you. But there we go, we got the sun, guys. It's um, starting to nurture. Nurture all the vegetation and greens. Looks kind of funky at the bottom, but that's just the little clouds. I wish it would let me zoom in like I can when it's in camera mode. But, uh, that looks awesome. Oh, yeah, little seagull. Look at that, birds flying through the sun. Amazing. Some clouds. All right, we stuck it out and we got what we wanted. Very awesome. And now it's out. Did it, guys. All right. Well, have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, give all your nanas big kisses and hugs, and if she wants to pinch you on the cheek, just let her. And spend your time wisely. Drive safely. Travel safely. Uh, I'm going to go do a little editing and get these videos uploaded. It's now 6.53 a.m. East Coast. Good morning. Drive safely, everybody. Thank you to all my subscribers. I love you. Haters, like I say, you're welcome to. And um, let the truth set you free.